Hello guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to this new video tutorial series on creating an image slider using Angular 7 and ASP.NET Core 2.2. There were many uh, users that were asking me about creating an image slider or to show them how we can upload files uh, using ASP.NET Core and Angular 7. So I've created an application where we will be using Angular 7 and ASP.NET Core to create this image slider and display it to our users. Now let me tell you something about this application. This application has a dedicated admin panel and we will be using this admin panel to create our image slider. So we will be building this application in different phases where I will be creating each component as we progress. So for the first phase of this application, we will be creating an image slider and we will be creating the featured slider component. We have the featured slider image section which can be used to create the slider. So now let's understand how we create a slider for showing it on our home page. So first thing that we want to do is give a slider a title. So let's call it as uh, animal slider. And then I will select what kind of slider this is. So we will have different kind of sliders that we can create depending on what uh, page or what view is being displayed to the user. So if the user is on the home page, we need to create a home page slider, featured slider. If the user is on a particular category page, then we will create a category slider. Now, as I told you, we are building this application in phases. We will create the category section as well and the product section as well as we proceed. So the first phase is to create the slider, to create the slider functionality. So we click on the, we select the featured home slider and then we select upload images. Then I go to test images. I have some test images of some animals. I'm going to select them. I can select multiple images. And you can see that the images are being uploaded. Now I can just fill in the required title, caption, alternate text and description. I can even edit or remove these images. If I feel like I want to add another image, I can add another image. If I want to delete a particular image from the list, I can delete that. So now we have three images in this list. Now let's go ahead and fill the title. So let's call this as polar bear. And the caption would be polar bear and give it some alternate text polar bear and description polar bear likes snow. Let's fill out the other information as well and I will just fast forward this part. So I have added the required image captions and image descriptions and filled out this image upload form. I've selected the gallery to be a featured home slider and now I'm going to click submit. And when I click submit, the gallery, which is animal slider is successfully added and the database has created a image slider for us. And I will show you that at the end of the video, what information is being added to the database. Now let's click OK and you would not see the home page slider as of yet being displayed and to display it we have some settings also that we have created so we go to admin featured slider go to preview let's first preview the slider that we just created so we have a preview tab where we can select the animal slider and then we can preview it so this is the slider that we just created and these are the captions and the description. Now, if I click on this pencil like button here, I can edit the information. So let me just edit and show you what happens. So polar bear are beautiful animals. Now let's do this. Actually add them here. 
King jungle, King of jungle, yes. And I can put this horses are fast and polar bear is white. Just to show you how it works, you can save this. Gallery was updated successfully. Let's go back to our admin featured slider. Go to preview. Let's check what we have here. And you can see the gallery is now updated with the information that I just added. If I click on the edit, I will have that information that I just updated. Now let's go to the actions tab. And the actions tab is uh, another tab that I have created where uh, the admin can set or set a slider to be featured. So as of now, if you see the slider that is featured is this slider here. And if I preview the slider, that the slider that you see on the home page. So if I open another tab for you, I should be able to see this slider here. And that's the slider which you will see on the home page, which is featured. So the admin can preview it. So I've created a preview as well. So to make the other slider that I just created, animal slider, featured, what I can do is, first thing I want to do is, I want to remove this slider from featured home. So I disactivate it, deactivate it, and I remove the featured option, and I save this. So now it's no longer featured. And now what I do is, I want to make my animal slider featured. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to make it featured, and I'm also going to make it active. It needs to be active. So now if I go here and I refresh, what do I see? My animal slider is now activated and it is featured. So you will learn all these functionality and I will teach you this in uh, this video tutorial series since many of you are asking this. Also one important thing, we are making use of uh, Tabulator. Tabulator is an open source library completely free I'm not using data tables, I'm using tabulator and one of the very nice feature of this uh, library is you can search filter results. Look at this. So if ID is equal to 11, I get the animal slider. Or I can do if title like horses. Uh, there's nothing, so I couldn't find anything. So let's let the like animal. Yes, so they have an animal slider. So if I want to say if uh, the uh, featured equals to true or featured like true, I can get uh, multiple results where I can see which sliders are featured. So you, we can play around it with this and we can uh, filter our results. So we will learn how to implement our database data in this tabulator.js. We can also reload galleries after we have created it and we can save changes after we have edited it. So we can also edit this as I told you and we can save any changes. We can also clear our filter and then we get the default results. So this is tabulator JS. We're using NTD framework core and ASP.NET and I am using uh, the Docker container to run my MySQL server instance. I will put a link in the video description and it is very important that you watch that video and set up your environment because I will start coding this project from the first video and I'm not going to show you how to set up your environment because that, for that I have created a video and I will put that video description in the link. So you should be ready so that next week when I start this tutorial, we all are on the same page. Also, we will have Azure Data Studio. So I'll just show you the image slider that I just created.
So go to database and I have the product gallery and I go to tables and I look at the gallery and edit data and I have a gallery whose title is animal slider which is featured and active so we have different tables and you'll see a bunch of tables for ASP.NET user login and stuff which will be created and completed in the upcoming phases but the first phase is to learn how to create an image slider and display it on your website from the dedicated admin panel our admin panel is uh, created by me so I will give you this code completely free so I will show you how to in how to add an dedicated admin panel and how we can add these components using ASP.NET Core so for the front end now we are using Bootstrap for Angular 7 and jQuery. I'll show you how you can use jQuery with Angular 7 in combination with Angular 7. And you will, we will create these following blog posts in the upcoming phases, but only this phase will contain the image slider. If you have any other questions, use the comment section to let me know so that I can add those features in this phase. And if you, want any other features you can also let me know in the comment section please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy if you have not yet done it and once again thank you for watching